All right guys, Paul here with another video. As you can see, I'm pretty kitted out today. Got my Mini 4 Pro, got my Mavic Air, got my Airwolf, and now I've got my Yuzang Apache. So that's the F11 model. Non-GPS, it's meant to be a little bit more hardcore. So obviously the Airwolf's got all the GPS capabilities. This doesn't. Um, I just got it arrived yesterday. I ordered it about a month ago. So in the box, here we go, here's the Apache. You can see it's really nice packed kit. Got one of the batteries in, the batteries have got these slots there, so you can buy an additional couple. Um, the controllers here, so it comes a little caps just to cover to protect the little little levers. So we'll switch this on. Maybe not yet till the helicopter's on, but here's the Apache here, so it's a little bit smaller obviously than the Airwolf. I'll turn that controller off just now actually. It's smaller than the Airwolf as you can see, but it looks pretty capable. So we'll get it switched on and get a little look at it. Hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. So it's really, really detailed. A lot more of a scale model. Obviously it's a four blade helicopter as well. Um, so I've got no idea how it's going to handle. Hopefully well. What we're beeping at. Didn't beat yesterday. What we're doing. What's it saying? Not quite sure what's going on, guys. Tested it in the house yesterday and it. it it spilled up. Why is it be pad? There we go, I think it was, I think it's because I had the lever up. So I think that's all it's been. But yeah, we go, everything's a learning curve. So we'll give it a little go. It's a little bit breezy today, nothing crazy. Really no idea how it's going to handle, so. We'll spool it up and have a look, to hopefully not hit the car. <laughs> so. Holds off. Very noisy. And there we go, we're up in there. So it's got a throttle hold position. What? Which I shouldn't have touched. It's really sensitive. It's a different kind of flying to the airwolf, that's for sure. So, try to keep it under this cable. Oh, it looks nice in the air, guys. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I'm not going to go too high because it is quite breezy and I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know the characteristics or anything like that, so. It's not got any GPS hold either, so. It's all down to me, so this bad pilot and you're seeing is purely myself. Fighting the wind. It's got different dual rates also, so I'm not sure if, if I'm in high or low rate. 
fact, maybe I was in high. Yeah, I think I was in high rate, which was making it a little bit trickier. Oh, that didn't look good. I hit the kill switch by accident. I thought that was a, a GPS lock switch, so hopefully I've not broke it. She's on her wheels anyway, so... Yeah, kill switch is what I've hit there. I thought that was the altitude lock. Probably should have read the manual, guys. <laughs> right. Let's see. And the battery's out. The battery locks in. Tires just popped. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just popped. Surprisingly, after that. No real damage, there's a little bit on the, the, the back wheel looks like the little bit snapped but that's nothing really worth talking about. We'll leave that in two seconds. And the little suspension arm popped off, nothing, nothing to really cry about to be honest. So as long as she flies we know not to touch that button. So it says throttle hold, but it's basically a throttle kill. There's somebody else there walking a dog. So we'll just get back up and we'll start this again. One more try. Oh, what have we done? What have we done? It's got spare rotors and I've just broke one, so <laughs> not a good start with the Yuzhang helicopter. it all work so yeah batteries popped out Done. I've popped the wing. It's not really broke, it's just dislodged. There we go. Right, we'll have one more try just to make sure she spools up. Obviously that blade's making a bit more noise now because it's cracked. I'm in 3D mode. Right, so all I've established, I need to change these blades over, bring her back out. Now I know the buttons, I've messed up a little bit. But we'll try and land her. So the biggest thing I've done wrong today was I killed the power in the air with the wrong switch. But, learning curve. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
looks like we've lost a wheel. <laughs> so, yeah, not a good first flight with the Yuzhang helicopter. Nothing too serious. We've got spare parts in there. We've got the blades, obviously. Might glue that little screw a little bit. But, yeah, I think I'm going to bring this out another day. I think we'll just quit while we're ahead with this one just now before we do any more damage. So I've got to say that's probably the most unsuccessful flight I've had to a new RC and I feel it's pretty much my fault, not the helicopter, just me not really looking at instructions properly. So yeah, we'll get her out again soon and we'll see how that goes. But first flight, not good. <laughs> right guys, after the disaster of that, hopefully I'm not going to have one of these days. So I've just ordered the parts for it, all the damage I've done there, the wheel I've broke, the little side wing, which isn't really broke, I've just ordered, and the rear tail wheel, and uh, that was like £20, so pretty cheap to fix. I know what I've done wrong, I hit the kill switch, which I really, d I'd watched a video on YouTube with somebody says an altitude hold, I never actually looked in the manual, but me killing the power in the air is the fault, so it's not the helicopter, certainly a bit more challenging to fly than the air wolf has been for me, but um, we've been lighter and a little bit breezy, it might be something to do with that. And obviously it's got no GPS lock, but overall, in the air it felt fine. I'll get the parts onto it and we'll get her back out, so no big deal. I've also ordered another gun as well, just so the battery's got a gun on each one. But yeah, these things happen, part of the hobby, so we move on. Um, just hopefully this helicopter will work fine today, so what we'll do is we'll take the airwolf off a little bit further away from the car, just... With the size of the airwolf, I find it a bit more intimidating to be honest. Um, I love it, but it does scare me. So I say that every video. So if you do get one, I'm being serious on they're really they're fun, but they could really hurt you. So definitely keep that in mind when you go out. I wouldn't take any kids around these things. So let's see if she spills up. So we'll spill up the airwolf. And you can see it's just a different animal, just to the size of it. So we're not going to go too far around just now. It's really got to be conscious of these cables, so I'll probably walk in front of the cables while I'm out. But I mean that Apache is going to be great, definitely. It's just absolute idiotic mistake by me by hitting the wrong switch. But well, once I've done that, the helicopter just wasn't quite right. But um, obviously the Airwolf I've had... I don't know how many flights the Airwolf I've had now. It must be... must be about 20 flights anyway, at least, I've had on this helicopter. No dramas, it sits there stable. I mean, look at it, I'm not even doing anything. Obviously I can put it in 3D mode, which I'm not going to with the wind. But she's gorgeous, she's beautiful, she flies nice, she's fast. Um, We'll just get a nice little reflex and flight we are just now. So, helicopters are definitely my thing right now. What, what's going on there? We're having some issues. We cut the power. Oh, we've crashed the airwolf. She just lost signal altogether there. Um, don't know why that's beeping. But this has just been a disastrous day. There's no reason for why that lost signal there. She was flying absolutely fine. And I th hopefully that's not the end of the airwolf, but I really don't have an idea what's happened here. I would run, but it's pretty soft ground. Um, she was just going beautiful. Didn't change anything on GPS lock. It's like, the ambulance coming down there. Um, I'm actually not going to lie, I'm kind of dreading looking at this. Um, take the head cam off. That's the thing we are, see, it's so good when it goes good, but you can have some disasters. There's no logic for what happened there. I was flying fine, she just lost absolute control. Look at her just now. Oh, that's her there. How bad are we? You know what? We have got very lucky. 
we have got very very lucky here no damage on the helicopter at all the only thing I can see it's happened is the links have came out for the blades let's see this one on ball link there surely not I do not believe that how have I not broke that there look at her bit grass in the front, bit grass underneath absolutely no damage at all I can't comprehend how that's not broke that came down hard, I mean you guys seen that on the camera um, she's down hard what I have broke, um, if you can see there the little latch to open it up, that's pinged off, but that's not really a big deal. You can get that off some other way. It probably looks better smoother without the little latch, to be honest. But, um, yeah. We're not going to take off, but I want to try something just now. Let's see, is this power on? Yep, green light's on. So, I'm not going to take off, guys. I want to make sure everything operates. So put everything back to home, GPS. See in 3D mode it's all moving, you can see it going. Something's happening with GPS around this area recently. I find that with a lot of things, GPS seems to be dying. So put it to home. I'll oh, put the head cam on and try this actually. Apologies for such a rubbish video. Um, nothing really went to plan today. I can't explain what's happened there though, I really cannot. So every everything's up, put it to GPS mode run. Sorry, not run. Two of them out for five seconds. And she's ready to fly. Lander just now though because I don't know what's going on. That is incredible. No explanation to why I lost signal. Um none whatsoever, but you can see that helicopter's functional, so we'll ne really need to get to the bottom of what is going on with this GPS. So I'm not gonna lie, it's not the first time I've had a GPS issue taking off. Um, I'll check the connections inside it unless something's vibrated slightly loose. But I don't want to risk flying again purely with the fact that I got away with that so, so well. I mean, that was a huge crash. This is just fiberglass too, so the fact that nothing's broke, I'm going to count my lucky stars on that one and yeah, we'll get her back. So, oh, I don't really know what to say other than what a shit day's flying. <laughs> Honestly, just, um, I can't believe that. I'm just so, I'm just so lucky though. So forgetting obviously the Yu Zhang, that was my own fault. That was definitely flyer error. Cheap fix. The helicopter's still good, functional. We'll just learn with that. We'll take out a camera day in a better area. Probably take it off on tarmac. To be honest, I think it'll be just smoother all round for it to get used to it. But the Airwolf, this should be in pieces, guys. This should be absolutely destroyed. And it's not, so... I really don't know what to say. I really do not know what to say. Um, just a crazy as they are seeing, so... Yeah. Like I say, I'll show you guys all the good stuff I get, and I'll certainly show you all the bad stuff, so... I basically messed up with the Yuzhang, I can accept that. Airwolf. I'm confused, but I'm concerned because it's such a big helicopter. If something like that goes wrong, you've got no control, it's quite a scary situation, but somehow it's damage-free, and um, yeah, we'll live to fight another day. But that's precisely why I said 
if you've got kids or people around you do not fly helicopters near anyone because if that happened there let's say I had my two daughters with me they were running about the field I couldn't have stopped that blade coming down to hit them and that would take your hand off it would take it's, I don't even want to think of the damage it would do if it hit somebody so very very lucky nice safe place to crash um, and somehow we've actually got away with it guys so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one and yeah hopefully you've learned something out of that video um, what I'll do is once I find out what's going on with the airwolf I'll get back to you and I'll update you and we'll get the Yuzhang out fairly soon we'll get that out probably at the end of the month when the parts come as they come from China it takes a couple of weeks but no big deal on that that helicopter oval I think is going to be very very good just a user error and the airwolf well I'm really going to have to put it on the laptop, check the settings, recalibrate it and just get everything back to factory and see what's going on. So I might do a video on the calibration side of it on the laptop and yeah, catch you guys next one. Thanks for watching. If you've not subscribed, please do it and it only takes a second, no, no effect to yourselves and give me a wee thumbs up and that'll help me out a lot. Catch you later.